In this video, we'll go over how to access and update services in the career plan. So from the, the participants intake page, you can click the training services tab here or this button down below. And this will take you to the career plan overview for the participant. Their information will be on the side here and under profile. And we have links to related instructions and other participant summary tools. In the middle here, we have different sections for assessments and desired career path. These are sections that are tied to the participants Illinois WorkNet account. Um, updates to these are independent from the system. These are assessments and selections that the participant can make uh, with existing other Illinois WorkNet tools. Over to the right here, we have accomplishments as credentials, goals, and services are added and completed. This number, these numbers will change here. And below we have our career plan summary. We have our different goals listed here for training services, wraparound services, student support services, transition services, and programs, program stipend. To edit the steps and services, we'll click this tab here for add steps and services. And this will take us to where we will make changes to the services. As we can see, the wraparound services based on our selections, those services that we completed in the wraparound service assessment have pulled over here and are populating under this wraparound services goal. And our training services have also been added. Once the participant was enrolled, the training services that are tied to your organization and the cohort uh, will populate in this training services goal. And so to edit a training service, we'll click the pencil icon here. And that will take us to this first tab for status default. So we have the name of the service. We have the goal, just training services, and a planned start date and planned completion date. And these are the dates that were entered on the cohort details page. Under status, we can change the selection to started and opened. The attendance hours required as entered by the program managers will populate in this field here. And you may also update the total attendance hours for that participant and this service. In this case, we will say four. And so we'll then update the customer service and be prompted to leave a case note. And then we'll save the case note. And once the page refreshes, we'll see that the service has been updated successfully. On the service provider tab, we can select the uh, program that the participant is enrolled in. So in this case, we'll select construction. And then we'll update the customer, the participant service here and leave a case note. We'll see that the service has been updated successfully. On the post assessment tabs for credentials, we can enter the post assessment that the customer has taken. We just need to add the assessment name, the score and the date it was completed. Then we have that entered right here. On this Earn Credentials tab, if we make this selection, we can add the credential that the participant has received. And you can fill out name, credential source, date attained, credential type, institution, and description. But however, since we've made the selection on the Service Provider tab for um, the organization in question, Macon County, and selected a the program, we have these radio buttons that are pulling through. And these radio buttons were tied to when the program, the training program information and credentials were entered um, in the beginning of the uh, provider's uh, experience in the Illinois Work system. So if we make this selection here for this credential, that information that was entered and approved will automatically pull through here. So it saves time for you to entering, entering information for uh, participants' credentials. So all you 
need to do now is select from the drop down the credential source and the date it was attained. And then you can click save. This prompt will appear when you try to add a credential. What we need to do first is upload the verification document in the upload section for the customers. And we have steps here that walk us through this. So in order to do this, what we'll do is click OK, click Cancel, and we'll go back to the career plan. And under Participant Summary Tools, we have the option to upload files. So when we click Upload, we'll see the previous uploads for the GED and interview sheet that we added. But we can also add the document we need to so we can enter the credentials. So in this case, we'll say OSHA and choose File. We'll add the document here and add a description and click Upload. And so we now see that that file has been uploaded. So if we go back to the Earn Credentials tab, what we can do is select the radio button to enter the credentials. So again, we'll select the credential source and the date it was attained and click Save. And then we'll see that the credential has been added. To mark the service as complete, all we need to do back on the Status Default tab in the status dropdown, mark successful completion, and then we will save this status here. We'll enter a title and content in the case note. And we will see that the service has been updated successfully. And that is how you can update training services in the participant's career plan.